Please excuse me, my braids are so tight that they're actually destroying my brain flow. I'm just a regular guy. So I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong and incorrect. So let's talk about Hasanabi. Because everybody kept correcting me about how to pronounce his name. I would like to make a few amendments to the video I made a few days ago and the undeserved hate that Hasanabi gets. Or Hasan. I'm going to call him Hasi. Abi. I got to figure out a nickname because I don't want to keep saying that. So about two days ago, I made this video criticizing this streamer who I felt I didn't enjoy. Now, I would like to point out that I came on this topic very ill-informed. It was really just me yapping for about 10 minutes and everybody rightfully was pointing me out. Everybody was um, kind of clowning on me. And every time I did, I said, thank you. I said, thank you. He scares me. So does his fan base. And I said, I'll probably make a better, more in-depth version. This is the better, more in-depth version. And I said, that's on me. Everything I said was, from what I sing, I am not informed. Things in that va in nature. Now, I received a lot of criticism and a lot of messages from a lot of people uh, telling me where to go and where to look. I'm lying. No one did that. They did send me messages, however, critiquing me as a person, saying I'm ugly, saying I have no personality, and saying I should fall in a hole and end my existence, which is very kind. I appreciate that. I genuinely mean that. I do appreciate anybody that messages me because you went out of your way and I'm siphoning your life clock for some reason. But outside of that, I thank you because it shows me the kind of people that I'm dealing with. It shows me that I don't think H Hassan Abi or Hassan is like that. I don't think he is that kind of person because the fan base he has cultivated, I don't think correlates to him. I think his fan base is the issue I had. Him himself, I made a PowerPoint to talk about him. So let's talk about the PowerPoint I made. So Hassan Abi, the socialist. Let's talk about some good points. I don't think he's perfect, but he is by far one of the, has one of the largest audiences in the West for a Marxist. I don't agree with him on everything. He regularly discusses the labor theory of value, material conditions, and a lot of things. He's fighting for the little guy. I love that. He's fighting for people like me. I have two jobs. He's fighting for people that work at Amazon, things of that variety. I appreciate that. And I'm not looking at him as a person. I'm looking at his core values. I'm looking at what he preaches and pitches. No other content creator does this no other content creator constantly talks about the little guy or the wage gaps and things of that variety classism and how it's destroying us and hasanabi is the big guy talking for the little guy he gets to speak to the bigger people he gets to tell his friends hey you should talk about this subject this issue this thing i respect that i love i deeply admire that actually it's amazing that's something i can't take away from him so on the next point he is a perfect start to equality he is the best entry point. If you want to get into leftist politics and have a difficult time, he is so charismatic. He is he is so good at explaining things. He will make it simple enough to where an idiot can understand. Because I, while I was at work, listened to him speak for a long time. And I mean a long time. I listened to what he said, and this is what I discovered. People will come into the chat and just talk immense mess about him. They will say evil, vitriolic things to him, and it is mean. It is messed up. And nobody deserves that. I will love myself despite the ease at which I lean towards the opposite. I was taught that when you cannot be kind, be kind. I will always be kind. And I was being disingenuous to myself and Hassan. I was being disingenuous, spreading misinformation when I said he was doing the same thing. I was being dishonest with myself. I was not truly giving him the benefit of the doubt. The thing that people have given me so many times before. I'm a felon, by the way. I don't know if you guys know that. I'm a felon. People have given me the benefit of the doubt. I used to be a gangbanger. I used to be a crip. I was given the benefit of the doubt. I was allowed fair, fair process. I was allowed to do this. Now, the issues I had with him were clipped out of context. And let's talk about things I had a real issue with. First, let's talk about the positive force. Hassan is responsible for thousands of people entering the realm of leftist thought. Agree with his takes or not. Agree with his level of understanding of leftist theory or not. I say he is a net positive of getting people out the right wing pipeline. Now, the right wing 
for the most part, are very extremist. Now, my view on gun policy, I like guns. I'm not gonna lie to anybody, I do. I enjoy having them, I like them. I live in Michigan, I live in Detroit, I enjoy having protection on me because I live in a dangerous area. I'm not gonna lie to anybody. I enjoy the aspect of that. I think women should have the right to a fair process of abortion. I shouldn't even have an opinion on it because I don't even have the reproductive organs to follow up on that. I think everybody should get free health care. I think that. I like some things on the right and some things on the left. If I make enough money, I might make more left-leaning stuff simply because I want to give more taxes to help smaller people out. I think that would be fair. I enjoy him. I enjoy him in his leftist politics because he makes a lot of money. And he gets taxed crazy probably. And all that money is going back in to other people. But he wants more than that. He wants a dissolution of the system. He has cultivated people that can turn into extremists. He has cultivated the people that insulted me for the past day. Now, I'm going to explain later why I don't care about the insults. But first, let's talk about the things um, that he's not kind. So let's talk about the first thing. I'm not even going to insult him on these points. Hassan Piker with the boycott. Let's talk about this first. Let's go to this. In this scene, in this clip, a fan approaches him and says he cannot drink Coke Zero and Pepsi because of the boycott. Now, the fan then asks, could you at least pretend? That is important. If Hassan even pretends, other people will do it. Because other people follow him, it's important for him to have a good public image. This must be tiring. I imagine this must suck. To constantly be skewed under a microscope that every action you have and do is very detrimental to your brand. It is terrifying. That must be a lot of pressure on him. I understand that pressure. I'll, I'll explain later why I understand a little bit of that pressure. But I understand that pressure deeply. That's scary. And I give him props for handling the situation with grace and civility. He didn't chastise the person. He even got the person to laugh with him. But people take this clip out of context and often say, well... Guess what? You know, these are the people, the crazy extremists that he... No, it's just somebody that deeply cares that Hassan portrays the image that he does in public. It's very important. It is important. Because people have to know that the big guy is still fighting for the little guy. That's very important. I respect that. I respect somebody caught him on that. And immediately, this should have shown me before that he takes criticism. I thought he didn't. He does. I didn't know that he actually takes criticism to heart. I didn't know that. That will get to my next point. This abysmal, abysmal display of non-camaraderie. Hassan debates Willie Mack. I watched this entire thing. The first time I saw this, I had no context. Hassan was interrupting him, not letting him speak, ignoring him, completely doing all these things. And people reasonably, and I mean reasonably, called him out on it. As a matter of fact, you look at the dislikes for this, because it's from Hassan Abiy Productions. The dislike for this is crazy high, right? The whole thing, Willie Mack is pointing out how he spreads misinformation, how he immediately does things. And Hassan was not willing to hear any of that. Hassan does do this to an extent. That's because Hassan wants people to know immediately. He knows nobody's going to talk about it, so he wants to be the voice that you hear. That's important. Despite the fact that he does spread misinformation and his chat will call him out. When he does it, he will go on stream and actually read through the article with people. I have seen him clipped out of context multiple times for this. I will give him credit for that, 100%. And people are just going going like crazy talking about his inflated ego things that have variety and that's where i deeply believe hassan was a narcissist now i'm gonna say this right now hassan is a narcissist i say that deeply i'm a narcissist ludwig's a narcissist moist critical narcissist jeff bezos narcissist i think you need narcissistic tendencies to make it in an industry like this and i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna explain how later this is gonna go into the thing where i can handle the insults and things that have variety because most people don't know who i am which is fair i understand that that's fine a lot of people say i have zero personality i grasp that that's fine because i was insulting your favorite it's okay i understand it's fine hate me and drag me through the dirt this was the real reason i didn't like hassan the reason i didn't like hassan was because of this clip here. It was an age restricted career. I'll watch on YouTube. Let me show you. I understand and wish to proceed. Go ahead. Hassan laughs at cops shooting their own partner. 
This is crazy. I saw this. I seen this. And chat, Twitch chat is Twitch chat. I'm not going to comment on Twitch chat on this one. I think people were laughing. I think he was laughing at this. I found this inhumane and disgusting. I did. I genuinely found this inhumane and disgusting when he was laughing. Because the, the poor woman got shot and he just began to laugh. That, that's what I saw. He, he just starts laughing. I think people were laughing at the absurdity of the situation. Upon further analyzing it, he later said he was laughing at the absurdity of how silly it is that pigs do this and use lethal force on other people. And his chat, it seemed very dehumanizing. It, it, it felt messed up in my mind. It felt insane to witness this, right? It felt crazy. And later, I found another clip on the Willie Mac show. I'm not going to show it, but I found another clip where he saw the clip again and laughed at it. I imagine he laughed at the absurdity of it. Now, I have never laughed at body horror or body humor where people get hurt or injured. I don't like America's Funny in Some Videos. I don't like people getting hurt. I hate that. I despise it. It doesn't feel good to witness. For Hassan, that was insane. And this was probably out of context. Dude stream eight hours a day. Obviously, he's going to be set out of context. And he's fighting for the little guy. He's saying extreme things. He's saying wild and wacky things. I grasp that. I understand that now. I'm watching his content. I'm understanding him. I get it. So I give him a little, a little bit of leeway on this. I'm going to give him a little bit of leeway on this. Despite the fact that him laughing and insulting the cops and phoning gun and getting shot, that is messed up to me. That's weird. I will give him leeway on that. Now, to my next point. <laughs> I think he is still dangerous. He is a great entry point for leftists, is a terrible debater. He does not listen if you disagree. He will insult and bully you. He will. I have witnessed him bully people because he bullies. He is notorious for bullying people. But I'm going to give him leeway on this one too. I'll give him leeway on this one. Because... He deals with trolls and people insulting him all day. He obviously has a breaking point. I think people push him until they reach that breaking point. Then they clip him and they get him that way. That's what I witnessed. That's what I discovered. And that's my that's how I believe that. Clipping him out of context and doing that is messed up. I'm sorry if I'm stuffy right now. It's messed up my nose. So that's what I believe. Now, should he always be kind and ready to do that? Not everybody has the capacity to do that. It's hard. It's difficult. I stumble sometimes. It's difficult. It's very difficult. I understand that. He has 15,000 people constantly watching him down. He's going to let me clip him. Let me clip him. Let me clip him. It's insane. I feel the same way about him that I do Kai Sinat or I Shall Speak or any big screamer. Any big streamer. All those people, I'm like, they have to deal with a lot of people all day. And this gets me to my next point about how a retail job is different than a streaming job many people don't know who i am i understand that i go on tiktok and i stream to about 700 people right i have 300,000 followers or sorry let me rephrase that i have a hundred thousand followers i'll show you why i said those two numbers in a minute I have a hundred thousand followers about and i stream to all these people and they insult me they get they mess me up they mentally mess me up they say i look stupid they don't like my teeth because they're yellow they say i got a gap they insult they message me personally on my facebook instagram all day i get 75 messages every single day every single day insulting me and it's draining you can say you're got thick skin or don't look at it but it's a lot and I was being disingenuous. I was adding to the fuel of the fire of the hate to him. The undeserved hate. When all he's doing, his core values, is fighting for people like me. Fighting for people that have two jobs, that want equal pay, or even pay just in general, a base level pay, and free healthcare. That's all he's doing. He is getting outraged by the atrocities of the world. And I decided that I didn't like him for that. That's messed up on my end. However, I still think he's dangerous. If I have to, if I have to all this research prove he is good, I have to do all this research. I did all this work. And that defeats the purpose. This defeats the purpose. I did all this work and I changed my opinion, right? I changed every bit of my opinion on Hassan. I did. I truly did. 
I changed every part and every snafu that I messed up on. But the fact that I had to go through this rigmarole, all this nonsense, every single smidgen and piece of it, that's dangerous. I think he's dangerous because he can get put out of context so often. I think he's dangerous because people are trying to make him seem evil all the time. I think he's dangerous because when I made a video slightly critiquing him, everybody messaged me and insulted me about my character, saying I have zero personality, saying I'll never make it, I should give up my dreams. That's why I think he's dangerous. Because of his audience. I think he's dangerous because of that. That scares me. So let's talk about the next point. He streams a lot. A lot can be taken out of context. As I said, even Mr. Beast gets hate. My issue is this the this is the only content that I see and just what I saw. I was trying to find good points and I found them. I'm happy I did. The issue with me is that I'm stupid. This is important. I'm dumb. Not the I'm dumb, don't blame me kind of way. It's the I'm dumb, I'm stupid, I'm the consumer, I should do research kind of way. I'm the person, I'm the idiot that's listening to Taylor Swift or listening to pop music. I'm the person you have to convince. I'm the person that ingests content, sees a clip, and gets an opinion about that person. I'm the TikTok brain, brain rot idiot you gotta convince. That's me. If you can't convince me, that's an issue. I see you get clipped out of context, I'm going to use that against you for the rest of your life. That's me. I'm the average person. You have to convince me. And I'm convinced now because I was sick of getting the messages. I wanted to see what everybody else saw. Not everybody's going to do that. I broke free from being the idiot. That's what I did. I went out of my comfort zone. I like being ignorant. I like being blissful. I did the opposite of that. Now then. I do speak to thousands of people every day. I understand if you don't know me, but I do have a bit of a following. And I understand that people don't care about this. That's fine. Ignore the cash app, ignore the Venmo, don't send me anything, ignore all that. This is my TikTok. I'm trying to make it on YouTube. I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to understand. I have a lot of people message me a lot of the time, a crazy amount of time. All day, every day, all the time. Everybody's messaging me. So to say I have zero personality, that's fair. I insulted your favorite. You could insult me, that's fine. To say I'm never going to make it, that's fair too. You are horrifically right to say that about me. You could say whatever you want about me. I'm happy I have my following here. I hope I can bring that over to YouTube. I hope I can talk to you all. I hope the people that don't like me now will be able to speak to me and know that I can change. I am willing to change. And Hassan, when he spoke to that woman who came to him and approached him about the coke thing. Sorry, Hassan, Hassan, Hassan Abi, however you say his name. When he got approached, the Turkish man, the beautiful charismatic man, you know what he said? He said, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. And he made her laugh. Because he's charismatic. He's kind. And I appreciate that. In conclusion, I think he is a charismatic leftist voice for people that want no figurehead. He is someone that wants equality and cares for a little guy. I think he's a fun guy. I think he's entertaining. But I don't think he's truly... I think he's kind but not a kind person. Let me explain that. I think he's good. I think he's a good force. A net positive. I don't think he's always kind. He bullies. He berates. He gets agitated. But that's fair because everybody keeps trying to push his buttons, right? And I agree to that. I agree. So, that is how I feel now about Hassan Abi. Thank you. If you have any other critiques about me, say them down below. That's my rebuttal.